and welcome. My name is Jocelyn and today we are going to be talking about new makeup releases. So makeup that has recently dropped or is about to drop. It's a video series that I'm kind of launching-ish on my channel is inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I'm just calling mine Thoughts on Drops because I thought that was a catchy title. So Thoughts on Drops, basically we're just going to be talking about either new makeup releases that are available now or ones that are coming up that have been announced. So I've seen a lot of very interesting eye-catching releases in the last couple days and I thought it was a good time to talk about them and talk about my thoughts and whether or not I am interested in picking them up or just kind of my thoughts on them in general. So let's go ahead and get started. I am primarily pulling from Trend Mood, so I will link their Instagram down below in case you're interested. And the first product that we're gonna be talking about is something I am extremely excited about. I actually just saw the videos regarding this in the posts, I think yesterday. This is the new Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration, and they are doing an astrology inspired collaboration, and I am so excited. I am big fan of astrology. I don't know that much, but it's something I'm very interested in. I actually just learned my moon sign and my rising sign, which is very interesting. I've always been a Gemini, but I haven't always super identified with Gemini and some of those hot and cold characteristics. But when I learned what my moon and my rising sign are, it made a lot more sense. So I'm a Gemini, but also I am a double Libra. That was really interesting to me and reading all of the characteristics of a Libra made a lot of sense. So anyways, I digress. In the ColourPop Kathleen Lights line, they are launching a eyeshadow palette, two luxe lipsticks, two of the, like the, the metallic eyeshadows, I can't remember off the top of my head what they're called, and then two pressed Super Shock highlighters, and I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about each of these and talk about my thoughts. First and forma foremost, the packaging on all of these is absolutely beautiful and I am so excited about it. The palette in particular looks beautiful. Starting with the packaging, packaging looks beautiful. I'm excited that all of the signs are on all of it and I really love that they have included a mirror on the inside and the names on the inside of the palette. That's something that I've always struggled with, especially when I've tried to use palettes in tutorials, is having to flip the palette over and then try and remember which name belongs to which shadow. So it's very exciting that those names are now gonna be inside the palette underneath the corresponding shadow. Now looking at the colors, it looks very unique to me and what I personally have in my makeup collection and it looks really pretty and all in all I'm very interested in picking up this palette. Of course I'm gonna wait and hear a few more people's opinions. I'm sure that the PR packages are gonna go out so I'm gonna research some of those videos before making a final decision on whether or not I'm going to purchase but like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick this palette up. Moving on to the two they're not super shock, sh supernova, that's what they're called. Supernova shadows in the collection. There is one that is modeled after telepathy, which is one of her super shock shadows in, it's like the yellow color. And then there's another one, which is called, ah. So the gold shade is called astrology and the pink champagne shade is called constellation and I am very interested in that pink champagne shade. I have been wanting to try the supernova shadows for a while and I've heard kind of mixed reviews about them but I'm very interested in that constellation shade. That kind of shade, that pink champagne shade, is one of my favorite colors to wear on my eyes so I'm very interested in picking that one up. Not so much the the other shade, the astrology shade, it's just like not quite my tone or my jam. Moving on to the Super Shock highlighters, she has two available, one in the shade Fire and one in the shade On the Cusp. Fire is more of a golden shade and On the Cusp is more of a, how would you describe that? Like a pinky champagne color. Very interested in that one. I think I owned one Super Shock highlighter, but it was way too dark for me, so I hardly was ever able to use it, but I am very interested in picking up On the Cusp. Finally, the two Lux lipsticks. If you are familiar with my channel at all, you may know that I am a big fan of the Lux lipstick formula, and she is launching two shades. The two shades that she is launching is What's Your Sign and Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Moon is modeled after her lippy stick in the shade Lumiere that she released forever ago, I think years ago now, and 
I'm interested in both of these. If I had to choose one of them, I think I would choose the nude shade, which is the shade What's Your Sign, but I am mildly interested in both. I feel like I might get more use out of What's Your Sign as opposed to Scorpio Moon, but they do both look like shades I would wear. But I, I think I'm gonna lean more towards just picking up the one because there are other Lux lipsticks on the ColourPop website that I'm very interested in. I think more than Scorpio Moon. Another thing I'll have to do is look and see if I have anything super similar in my collection. That wraps up my thoughts on the new ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collection. Obviously, I'm very interested in this collection. I love ColourPop. I really like Kathleen Lights, and I'm very interested in quite a few of the products in this collection. Next, we're gonna be talking about another palette, and this is a palette by Juvia's Place. So I recently did pick up two palettes by Juvia's Place, the Masquerade Mini and the Saharan 2 palette. This newest palette is called, I believe it's called the Africa Africa collection. I could be saying that to come completely wrong. And the palette that they are releasing is very interesting. It's got a lot of warm toned shades in it and also a few pops of color. And oh, it's, it's just, it's got a weird array of colors in it. It does retail for $20, so not too terribly bad, but I've got to be honest, I just looking at this, it doesn't interest me. It looks like a very odd combination of colors. I feel like I can feel a vibe from this that does feel very, like if I was walking through a village in Africa, these are the colors that I would expect to see. I don't know if that's kind of a weird thing to say, but that is the vibe that I'm getting and it feels like the vibe that they're going for. But just looking at it, I don't think I would enjoy a lot of the eye looks that I would come up with. So I personally am not gonna be picking up this palette and I'm not interested in this palette. Next, we're gonna be talking about something a little bit controversial and this is a new foundation and I'm sure you You've probably heard about it by now because a lot of people have been talking about the shade range and this is the new beauty blender foundation this is their I think it's called bounce liquid whip long wear foundation first of all the packaging is pretty weird it looks like it has a frosted glass container maybe which is really pretty but then the way that it the way that it pumps out of the package literally pumps it out onto the package. The idea is that there's a little scoop out on the package that you're supposed to be able to dip your booty, your booty blender, your beauty blender into and then apply to your face. That kind of seems like it's just gonna be an absolute mess, but I mean, I kind of see what they were going for, so you don't have to put it on the back of your hand, but then it's still making a mess somewhere else. So I don't know how much I would love that. Also, the shade range on this, I don't feel like I really need to go too deep into it because a lot of people have been talking about it, but there's just like no colors for darker skin tones. It looks like there's more than two rows worth of light colored foundation colors, a few for medium skin tones, and then even less for darker skin tones, which with all of the backlash that Too Faced got with the Shape Tape Foundation, you would think brands would have learned that in this day and age, people are not gonna be taking that anymore. We are gonna speak up and make a fuss when we don't think that everybody is being included in these shade ranges. So a long ways to say that I am not gonna be picking up this foundation, but even regardless of that, there are other foundations that are kind of at the top of my list that I really wanna try, and this is just not one of them. Moving on to another palette, I did want to talk about this. I haven't really heard many people, if any, talk about this yet, but this is the new Urban Decay Mini eyeshadow palette. This is their aphrodisiac palette. And I'm gonna be honest, like this caught my eye. It has got this really pretty range of colors and it looks like it has three mattes and three shimmers in it. Okay, let me first say that I don't think I'm gonna pick this up. And the only reason for that is, is because I feel like I have too many travel size palettes that I would prefer over this. However, this is beautiful, I think, personally. It's got some warm shade. Well, it almost actually has like cool tone shade. I don't know. I don't even even like know how to explain my thoughts on this product. I don't actually know how much it's gonna cost. I'll put it on the screen because I, I don't see a cost on this yet. It is the same size as the Naked Basic palettes. This is one of them right here. So this is the Naked Basic 2. They have the Naked Basics 1, 2, and the Heat, or the Petite Heat, and it looks like this is kind of just an extension of that kind of mini palette line. I mean, I could see myself maybe 
at some point picking this up if it goes on sale sometime because I do think it's really pretty and looks like something that's really, really easy to use. I could see somebody who just needs a quick palette to just throw on getting something like this, but right now it's not something that I need in my collection. Next, we're gonna be talking about a concealer and I actually completely missed this post until right before I was about to film this video and I was going through Trend Mood's most recent posts, but this is a concealer by Cover FX. Now, recently, within the last five months, I think, I started using the Cover FX Power Play Foundation, and I love it. It is one of my top favorite foundations ever. It is wonderful. And they are coming out with a concealer, a Power Play concealer. Now, this concealer is $30, which is really expensive for a concealer. Like I feel as though the other ones that I've purchased are between like $21 and $26. <sighs> and $30 is so much. That's really unfortunate that those are $30. I'm interested in them, but I just don't know if I could commit to $30. So it does look like they have a pretty good shade range. They have like a row of light and like fair to medium and then medium to dark. They have like a white, white shade for extremely fair people and a very, very dark shade. It'll be interesting to see how dark this range actually goes, but there's a total of 30 shades in the collection. So that's pretty great. Also, it says that it is crease proof and full coverage and comfortable to wear all day. So it sounds pretty great, but it would have to be like top notched for me to be comfortable spending $30 on it. So we'll see. I'm interested in it but I'm gonna wait it out oh I guess I could always get a sample at Sephora I might do that and then wait for like the VIB sale to pick it up because again I'm very interested I love the power play foundation and you know we'll see we'll see next we're talking about another palette this is also a product that prompted this video and this is the new Anastasia Norvina palette and I am so excited for this so I have been waiting for a ABH palette release to build up my collection. So I have the Modern Renaissance palette and the, the Master palette by Mario and I love them. I did skip over the last three, so Subculture, Prism, and Soft Glam. Subculture and Prism, they just didn't speak to me and then also there was all of that scandal with them and them not being very good. So I went ahead and skipped over those. The Soft Glam I was interested in but it kind of bored me so I ended up skipping over that just because I felt like I had too many palettes that I loved that were very neutral and pretty. I didn't really need that one, but this one, the Norvina palette looks kind of like everything I would want in a soft, purpley, wearable, pretty palette. And I'm pretty confident that I'm going to pick this up. I am waiting until it comes into Sephora, which I believe is early August. It has already released, I think, on the Anastasia website and maybe a couple other places. So people are already getting them. I'm very excited about this. I'm like 95% sure that I'm going to pick this up. It would take a lot to persuade me not to pick it up. So there's a good chance this is going to be coming into my collection in the next month or so. <laughs> next, we are going to be talking about another foundation. So I have been looking for a dress drugstore foundation for a while now. There are only a handful, not a, not only a handful, but there's, I would say less than half of the drugstore brands are cruelty free. So like CoverGirl, Maybelline, Rimmel, L'Oreal, none of those are cruelty free. And those ones are the ones that unfortunately hold a lot of the really good foundations. So NYX is releasing a new foundation and I'm very excited about it. They have 45 whopping shades. So that's friggin' awesome. 45, that's crazy. And this is their Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Matte Foundation. And I am very, very interested in picking this up. So it will be available August 16th on their website and online at Ulta Beauty. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I wonder when it's supposed to be coming in stores because I would like to buy this in stores so I could shade match a little better. But I'm very interested in this. I don't see a price on it right now, but I mean, it's drugstore, so it's going to be cheaper than a lot of the high-end foundations that I'm using right now and I'm very interested in trying this out. I will probably be buying this. I might wait until it comes in stores though so I can better shade match myself but I'm very interested in this. Next we have another couple of palettes and okay so let's go ahead and start. These are the new palettes by Laura Lee Los Angeles. So Laura Lee YouTuber of course. So I have not purchased anything from Laura Lee Los Angeles yet and I 
I don't think I'm going to be picking these up just because I don't think that they fulfill a space in my collection that needs filling right now. But thoughts in general on this collection, I really, really like the packaging. I love the triangles that are on the outside of the packaging. I like the layout, how it has six shades in each palette. So it has kind of a neutral palette and then also a bright palette. So there's those two. The more neutral palette is called Like a Boss and the more fun, bright colored palette is called Party Animal. The names are cute. I appreciate that. I mean, looking at the palettes, they look fun. They look pretty. I, I assume that they work well, but they're just, I don't know, not something that I'm really interested in. To get both of the palettes, it looks like it's $30. To get each one, it is $19. So each palette costs $19. I feel like... I mean, $19 for six shades. I mean, I've definitely spent more than that on six shades, but I, I think I would have been a little more comfortable with maybe a $15 price tag. That would have made more sense to me. And I guess if you do buy both of them together, it would be $15 each. So $30 for the two palettes. That feels a lot more comfortable to me than almost $20 a palette. But like I said before, I won't be picking either of these up. If I had to choose one of them, I don't think I would use those colorful shades as much but the the neutral shades I do think I would use so if I had to choose one I would choose that one but I'm just not interested in picking one of them up for $19. I have two more products to talk about the next one is a palette and this is a drugstore palette this is one of the new Milani palettes they are releasing two of them the first is the soft and sultry palette this is a very rosy toned palette which I absolutely love rose toned palettes and the other one is a smoky palette no it's pure passion so the rosy toned one is pure passion that makes sense and then the smoky one is soft and sultry so I mean both of these look really pretty I don't think I need the soft and sultry one just because I have so many neutral shades browns and tans and like golden not even golden shimmers but brown shimmers in my collection i don't think i need this but i will say that the rosy toned one the pure passion is really pretty now i don't see a price tag on this but i'm pretty sure these palettes retail for 20 dollars, which for drugstore is very expensive but these remind me a lot of the stila palettes which used to be i mean definitely more than 20 bucks so the quality on these looks pretty nice i've heard really good things about these types of palettes by Milani so I'm interested but we'll have to see I think this palette is very very pretty I like how it has a row of shimmer a row of mattes a row of shimmer and then a row of mattes and the shimmer and matte right below it kind of correspond with each other I really really like the way that they did that I think it makes a lot of sense and makes the palette very easy to use so just even for that factor this could be just a really good palette for somebody starting out or somebody who doesn't like to buy high-end makeup a lot this is a really good option in the drugstore and I'm very interested in this again do I think I'll buy it I really don't know at this point I'm gonna keep my eye on it and see maybe if it goes on sale at some point or it might be something that I see in stores and just think okay now that I'm seeing it in person this looks stunning and I need it in my life so we'll have to see but I'm very interested in this one all right so those are all the products we're gonna be talking about today those are my thoughts on the new drops in the beauty community I want to know from you what you think think about these drops are there any on here that you are interested in picking up are there any that you are just having a hard pass at and you do not want to bring into your makeup collection let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content from me don't forget to subscribe all buttons are down below and I think that's everything I have for you today thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one